Good day to you, dear brothers and sisters in Christ. We hope you're excited to receive God's word again today. And my title for today is, Do You Know Your Roots? How important is it to have a strong foundation under you? If you see, I'm sitting on a chair, and this chair needs to be strong enough to take my weight. Not that I'm so fat and, and there's so much weight to take on. But what I'm saying is, I will only sit on this chair if I know it has the right foundation to take the weight that if I sit on it, the entire chair doesn't collapse. So my title, Do You Know Your Roots? is based on this Bible verse taken from Colossians chapter 2, verse 7. And what does Colossians 2, 7 says? It says, let your roots grow down into him and let your lives be built on him. First thing is you need to have the right type of spiritual roots in your life that grow down in him. It's growing down in God. It's growing down in his word that is here. Because if you grow your roots in the wrong foundation, you will have the wrong values and it may not be stable roots. Isaiah 7 verse 9 says, If you do not stand firm in your faith, then you do not stand at all. We need to have the kind of faith that is rooted in Christ, that is rooted in your word, in the word, because that is what Paul reminds us in Colossians, our roots need to grow down in him. Now, when we talk about roots, incidentally, I'd like to share with you three important facts or three interesting facts about plants that exist. Now, most of us know normal plants. I mean, we plant a fruit tree in our garden. We have little plants in our pots and we can see those roots that are just growing and just taking up the whole pot. But let me tell you about two interesting trees that exist. Now, the first is called the wild fig tree. Now, the wild fig tree grows beautifully in South Africa. Now, what is interesting about it is the roots of this wild fig tree grows 400 feet deep. Now, I didn't say 4 feet. I didn't say 40 feet. One foot is about this much. 400 times that. Can you imagine how deep these roots are? Which means any storm, any tornado that comes, I tell you that wild fig tree is just standing firm and not moving at all because it made effort over the years not to grow shallow roots, not to grow roots just on the surface about two or three inches wide, but it decided to grow for 400 feet deep that that tree can stand tall. The second tree is called the banyan tree. Now the banyan tree grows so beautifully in India. Now this tree not only grows its roots deep, it grows its roots wide at 1,350 feet in radius. 1,350 feet in radius. That means if I'm the tree, my roots are growing all around, everywhere, all around. It's growing, so it is so strong on the right, on the left, on the front, on the back. That is how firm that tree is. My question to you today is, do you have roots that are deep? Do you have roots that are wide? When we develop roots that are deep, we deepen it in our faith with God. We deepen it in prayer. We deepen it in worship. We deepen it by sitting in the presence of God. When we grow roots that are wide, we widen it with the right circle of friends. We widen it with the right type of connections. Because when you widen your roots and you do not connect with the right circle of friends and you become un unequally yoked with an unbeliever, that can create a lot of problems. Because their influence and the influence of the world can affect our stability. I want to encourage you today to just begin to ponder on this and ask yourself, are my roots deep enough or do I need to deepen it? Are my roots wide enough with the right people or do I need to widen it more with the right type of people? I leave you with that thought today. God bless you and we'll see you again soon. Amen.